Welcome to Lesson 3, Exploring Nets. A net is a pattern on a piece of paper that can be folded to make a prism. Please pause this video and write down the definition of a net in your own words. Once you're ready, press play to continue. Here's an example of a net. So imagine this pattern on a piece of paper and you would take your scissors and cut along these dark lines just like this and then you would fold along the dotted lines what kind of three-dimensional prism do you think this pattern would make you can add this to your definition this drawing and once you're you have an idea in mind what kind of prism it would make press play and let's find out if you guess that the net on the last slide would make a cube, you are correct. Let's take a look how this would be done. So here is a step-by-step -step guide to, on how to turn this net into a cube. You start by folding up this piece, and then the side piece, and the other side piece, and then you take this long double piece, fold it up, close the top, and you have yourself a cube. So that's how the net is used to make a cube. Now let's take a look at this net. In some ways this net looks similar to the one that we saw for the cube, but it is different in some ways. You'll notice that it's color coded and the reason for that is that the sides that which colors match are opposite of each other in the prism once it's made. So this blue side and this blue side are opposite of each other. The two yellow sides are opposite and the two orange sides are also opposite. And these little tabs here on the side you can ignore for now. These are used if you actually make this into a net. Um, they help to tape or glue the sides together. So pause the video for a moment and see if you can figure out what kind of net this pattern would make or what kind of prism this net would make. If you guess that this net makes a rectangular prism, you are correct. Let's see if we can find the sides that match. So the front and back of this rectangular prism would be the blue sides. The top and bottom here and here would be the yellow ones. And you guessed that the orange ones are the sides of the rectangular prism. Let's take a look at another example. So here we have another example of a net. We have three rectangles here in the middle and two triangles on either side. So pause the video and think about what kind of net this or what kind of prism this net might make. If you guessed a triangular prism, you would be correct. The triangles are the bases of the prism. That's why it's called a triangular prism. And then we see we've got one, two, and three rectangles that go around the middle of the prism. So remember, a net is simply a pattern on a piece of paper that can be folded to make a prism. Let's look at some of the examples of nets that we looked at today. So here we have a cube, a rectangular prism, and a triangular prism. So when you do this lesson, you will have an opportunity to cut out your own nets and actually fold them and tape them or glue them and create your own prisms. So have fun making prisms and ask your teacher for any help that you may need.